The necessary drivers automatically install when an audio device is connected to the PC. However, sometimes this does not happen and you encounter the no audio output device is installed error message followed by a red cross sign next to the audio icon in the system. So what do you need to do? Let me tell you. Number one, you restart the system. Many a time when you change hardware configurations, the audio device stops working. Never attach any device where the PC is booting up to avoid this. And however, if you did connect a peripheral when the windows wasn't fully loaded, restart the device now. Next is to run the audio troubleshooter. To resolve various problems, it's better to run the troubleshooter and for this, right click the volume icon in the system tray. Select troubleshoot sound problems from the context menu. Wait for the troubleshooter to detect the problem with the audio devices. If you have multiple devices, select the audio device you want to troubleshoot. Next, if any problems are detected, they will be fixed. Also, the troubleshooter will give tips to improve the system sound. Update outdated audio drivers. To manually update the driver, you must visit the manufacturer's website and download the correct driver compatibility with the operating system and device. However, we will still recommend you to try using Advanced Driver Updater, which is a popular driver updater with huge database of drivers. It can quickly scan the system for outdated drivers and install the latest and most compatible driver for your system. Next is to disconnect and reconnect the external output device. If you are using an external audio output device, try detaching it from the system and restart the PC and then reconnect it. Next is to update the windows. Updating windows can sometimes destroy the audio device but can also fix it. As a result, we recommend upgrading windows to see if it resolves the issue of no audio output device installed. For this, press Windows plus I to open settings, click update and security, go to Windows update, check for updates, let Windows look for available updates. If available, you will get a download and install option. So that's it for today guys. We hope that we could have resolved your problems. If you have any sort of suggestions or queries, don't forget to let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.